Progress is a buzzword. Every UK government seeks to attain it, and the UK Conservative Party does too, in a practical way. But it has an unfair reputation of being anti-progress. This video seeks to dispel that myth. Progress is defined by the Cambridge Dictionary as a movement to an improved or more developed state. This is a broad word that should by no means be the sole preserve of Labour and the Liberal Democrats. The liberal leftist vision of history is one all Westerners are strongly affected by. Its basic idea is that the world inevitably moves from traditional backwardness towards individualistic free societies. It's true that since World War II there has been an encouraging growth of parliamentary democracy globally, but this was never predestined and could change at any moment. Just think how the 1920s were a time of hope in Europe, where many new nations were granted self-determination. Few could have imagined that by the mid-1930s only Czechoslovakia, France, the Low Countries and Scandinavia weren't authoritarian. Um Tanger tobten schon vor dem Weltkrieg schwere politische Kämpfe. Nun sind alle diese Fragen durch das entschlossene Vorgehen des wiedererwachten Spanien General Francos in kürzester Zeit bereinigt worden. The 1920s could be the 2020s. Furthermore, humans like to see things in a dichotomy, as in the UK has either achieved progress or not. But in fact, the UK has progressed on some issues and regressed on others. For example, medical care today is far better than the days of bloodletting. On the other hand, national pride and sense of community are much eroded. A nation that has no pride in its past sows the seeds of its future destruction. Here, our regression into national self-hatred over historical issues of, say, race, should be recognised as the opposite of progress towards a healthy nation. The Conservatives, with their 2021 retain and explain approach to statues targeted by Black Lives Matter, sought to progress citizens' knowledge. The Overton window is very important. It's the concept that some policies are unquestioned, some controversial, and others unthinkable at any point in time. For example, the policy that UK children be in some form of education is supported by all parties. Any politician to support otherwise would be committing electoral suicide. However, in the mid-19th centuries, this was a controversial debate. Humans forget and die and new normals creep up. This creeping change is something conservatives should carefully manage. But sometimes the wrong thing becomes normal simply because its supporters were more organised politically than its detractors. Take mass immigration. In 1997, net migration was 40,000. In 2019, some 270,000 men, women and children from Pakistan to Poland entered our nation. This insane near sevenfold increase started by Labour is now accepted as normal. This unsustainable influx has largely caused our housing crisis, with many young people unable to buy a home. 340,000 new homes need to be built every single year, and the Conservative government, despite manifesto promises, has done little to reduce numbers. So now that you can see how the Overton window is hopelessly askew on immigration, you can apply your new thinking to judge other, normal, liberal policies.